Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... Where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. I trust you wrapped up warm. And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Thus ends today's lesson. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their fun with more than a few. None of the Empress's favorites, though. They all got away safe and sound.
help you today, Clive. May the goddess go with you. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Drawing on the deck in this time. Shirley's got her work cut out keeping them in line. I didn't think Jill could look any worse for wear than when she came back from Arnhem. But she's managed it. Look after her, won't you? Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. I dread to think what happened in Rosalith. newest dish is a masterpiece. Once you get over the urge to gag, that is Is it business or pleasure? You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Welcome home, Clive! Oh, I was worried I'd never see you again. It's all right. Sid has nothing to fear from Kupka. He'll deal with him. I... I hope you're right. Tone says he's looking for books about Torgal. I know. Let's write one. My knowledge is yours. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. 
You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Visiting hours are over, your lordship. I'll be all right, Clive. I just need some rest. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Goots, meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth, but as innocent as a babe in arms. Thank you, Sid, for coming back to us. You're the glue keeping <laughs> you this place together. You look just like a princess! And you look like the princess's sister! <laughs> Some rest, see. <laughs> From what I heard, you earned it. <laughs> you took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it, then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me, that one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now, all right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. Say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. 
The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Basically, I need a smith, a merchant, and someone who can work wood. And let's face it, my student allowance ain't gonna stretch that far. So do us a favor, will ya? Sid's gonna chop off Kupka's head this time. Yeah, he won't like that. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? Must be hard, hearing what became of the place. No, the capital's as strange to me as I am to her. It was a lifetime ago I last set foot in the city. How's it coming along? Uh, nearly there. Just need to get these last boards nailed on. Mr. Seagull, or should I call you Mr. Lake Gull? Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. You think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. If I ever am. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. What do you need? What do you want? If I do say so myself. Anything else? Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. <laughs> Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. 
You got out else? Finished, are you? Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. <laughs> With a good oil in this, could should be enough to keep us going. How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Let's go. Time to fight. safe. Yeah! 
It's dead now. Whatever it was. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there, then. Don't ask me what Bernard's doing in Cressida. He'll have his reasons, though, I'm sure.
Oh, well, if it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. I'd be much obliged if you could rid the old place of nasties. And so would my mom and pa, I'm sure. This shouldn't take long. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. 
How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. I'm sorry I ain't been back to see you in so long, but I, I got some news for you. I'm gonna be wed. Jill looked white as a sheet when he looked. Is it business? Or pleasure? <laughs> Quite the opposite. Like father, like daughter. Go on then. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Is that all? I'm a storm, that one. <laughs> I'll make me the stuff she needs. Just give me a bit of time to work it all out with you. How's it coming along? Placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. 
Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Did Bernard say how long he was going to be? I mean, it's fine, but I hope he comes soon. Shouldn't you be getting some rest, Sid? <sighs> ah, Clive. Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Ah, oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Don't keep Gav waiting. He seemed excited. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest.